One of the craziest things about blockchain is that there's so many different ways to make money with these skills. You can get a job, you can become a freelancer, you know, work for somebody else. That's a great way to make money. Blockchain is one of the highest paying skills in tech. But there's so many things that you can do either on the side or completely, you know, replace your job entirely if you can master these highly valuable skills. And this video, I want to talk about a way that you can actually earn passive income as a blockchain developer without, you know, having to work for somebody else. I'm going to talk about that as a blockchain developer who works this technology on a daily basis. So before we get into that, you know, if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. And if you want to learn how to master blockchain step by step, start to finish, then head on over to adaptuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp to get started today. So like I was saying, there's so much you can do with blockchain skills, it's absolutely crazy. There's so many different ways you make money by working with the skills, you know, trading, creating your own bots. But I want to talk about this strategy, how you can actually leverage your coding skills to create passive income. And I detailed this in one of the live streams we do on this channel, Monday through Friday. Just subscribe, turn on notifications, you'll find out about this whenever we go live. But I want to make this dedicated video to explain this more in depth because I really think it is a crazy opportunity and shows you what's possible, you know, with these skills that doesn't really exist anywhere else, at least not in web 2.0 or any other field of programming that I know of. So what is this opportunity? Okay, so let's let's set the stage for for what you'd be doing here. All right. So one of the biggest trends that's caused blockchain to really take off from a utility standpoint, like actually making technology people want to use that you can't really do somewhere else that's, that use blockchain for this only is with decentralized finance or DeFi. This is basically taking traditional financial products and moving them over to the blockchain, things like savings, lending, trading, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. And one of the biggest use cases for decentralized finance is yield farming or liquidity mining or just earning high yield. Okay. So what does this mean? Well, you can go to different, you know, DeFi uh, dApps or websites that talk to the blockchain and talk to smart contracts that let you earn yield on deposited funds. So a really popular use case for this is you take stable cryptocurrencies like DAI or USDT or USDC, and you park them in these applications and then they are, pay you a competitive interest rate on those funds, like usually much better than you can get in your bank account. You know, maybe five, 10, more, more percent if people, you actually maximize yields and start using leverage and all that type of stuff. We'll get onto that later. But the whole point is you can get competitive savings rates with decentralized finance that you can't get into other applications, you know, with traditional finance, at least not for most normal people. So wh how does this intersect with the opportunity? So it's not just taking Taking your cryptocurrency and parking in these apps to earn passive income, you can actually leverage your coding skills to maximize this at scale with money that you don't even have, basically using other people's money. So how does this work? Well, basically, one of the biggest problems with decentralized finance yields is that they're not very consistent. And there's usually a big discrepancy across different applications. Like you might use an, a, an app like Compound Finance, for example, where the yield is, you know, 3% on a stable cryptocurrency like USDC. And then the yield is maybe 6% on an app like Aave. And that's not necessarily the same numbers, but that's just an example of a discrepancy. And, and those change all the time. Like maybe one hour later, the, the yield is different. And so if you want to keep you know maximizing this yield, you know, farming it, maximizing it, you might have to just watch it all the time and then move from one app to the other. And this takes your time and really takes the passive element out of the equation. And also, you're going to incur some pretty hefty gas fees with every single move that you make, which might completely eat into your yield and negate it entirely. So that's where an application like uh, Yearn Finance comes into play, okay? So Yearn is a DeFi app that basically automates this process. So what it does is it plugs into all these other DeFi apps, basically chases the best yield. It finds where's the highest return on whatever funds you deposited, and it goes to that app. And it also does some more complex magic behind the scenes to kind of, you know, maximize this yield other than just simply like looking for it. And that's where the opportunity comes into play for you, the blockchain developer, all right? So Yearn Finance is a completely open source protocol. It's governed by a DAO. And so how it does this is with what's called Yearn Strategies. Okay, so I'll put the GitHub repository to um, talk about this. So Yearn Strategies or Yearn Vaults are what power this, okay? And basically what happens is you have open source communities that can actually create these strategies from scratch, okay? And all they have to do is get uh, proven and voted upon by the DAO to include it in the protocol. So the incentive for the token holders is basically to you know prove the best strategies because that's profitable for the token holders. And, you know, you as a developer can create these and it has to, you know, pass the test in order to get in. But this is where the opportunity lies. OK, and so another reason I'm making this video is because of a tweet thread that I actually talked about one of those live streams that details a strategy on how to do this. Because, again, some of these strategies are complex to maximize the yield. It's not just about, you know, moving funds simply in and out of one account and finding the best return. Sometimes it's about more complex things. And here's a here's a pretty detailed example of exactly what you could do to create a strategy like this. So let's go through this. So this is from Flashfish. Okay. 
And he's saying, you know, Yearn strategies in Yearn a threat. So Yearn has four billion dollars in their V2 vaults. That's a lot of money. That anyone can code a strategy for and earn ten percent of the profits. That's basically how you make passive income as a developer. Once you create a strategy and actually gets used, anytime there's profit on this strategy, you're getting ten percent of all that profit. It's like a performance fee. Okay. So there's no interview process. Just create the strategy and follow these steps. So how do you actually get a strategy to production and scale to over a hundred million dollars? Okay, so that's what he's saying is basically like, you know, there's no guarantee that your strategy is going to get accepted, but how do you actually get it accepted? And how do you get it production? So number one is find a big farm. So then there's some challenge with this, you know, finding farms that can safely take over $100 million is hard. The yield normally comes from governance token farming. And when we add our funds, we dilute this distribution. So he's saying is there's a high yield, like 100%. And there's 10 million in there already. If you add another 90 million, the yields are just going to drop like crazy down to 10%. And what he's saying is um, the yield is based on the current price of the governance token. If we take a large share of the distribution, we can crash the price, you know, crushing our yield further. And most of the yield farming is more complicated than just locking USDC with a governance token. So one suggestion from the uh, Your Millennium Price thread was to farm the... Uh, MIM UST curve pool on convex for 33%. And the pool is large and we could uh, add over $100 million and still get a good yield without crushing it. So potentially a good strategy. So, but to farm it, uh, we first need to convert our USDC to MIM and UST. Not a simple task to do safely on chain without getting sandwiched or losing to slippage. So there's lots of risk with this. Uh, any of these coins could lose their peg. If there's any bugs, it's a deal breaker. He's saying he would welcome this strategy to the USDC vault, but only with a limited percentage of the funds uh, that makes it worth the risk reward. So if you were to create something like this, that's how you would find a strategy that would make sense. And those are some of the you know potential downside uh, risks involved. So once you do this, you basically code it up. All right, you say you found a juicy farm. He says it's probably easier than you think. It normally takes him one to two days to write a strategy and two to four to test. So within a week, you could conceivably, you know, write a strategy and you can actually check out this link here on GitHub on how to get started and how to create a strategy. So you get it peer reviewed by two other strategists. All right, so before, you know, before you basically being considered by Yearn, your code needs to be peer reviewed, Okay. So here's some resources on how to do that. So then you do deeper diligence on any protocols involved. So you, you definitely want to make sure you have official audit. You want to self audit any code you interact with. All right. To see if there's anything that might be overlooked. You know, look at a lot of other things like who controls the multi-sig if there is one, what's their reputation and all the due diligence you do should be adversarial. You should be thinking sort of like a bad guy and what are any dangers yeah, that are very really risky. So the next step is basically to test it out in production. So you can do this um, and launch your strategy on Ape Tax. <laughs> okay, you'll definitely need some sort of live production testing before you go to the prod. And then basically the next step after that is get it reviewed by your internal auditors. And then you, you're you going to launch it for real, basically with a low debt ratio as a soft launch. You have to deform or join a committee. And then the last step is basically to get an external audit to where somebody else actually go looks at this thing and, and you know, really kicks the tires and says that it's safe to scale to higher TVL, okay? Basically, that's how you can create a strategy with over $100 million on it, and you are on your way to winning the Yearn Millennium Prize. All right, so that's an overview of how you could actually create a Yearn Finance strategy that automates this yield farming process to where you could actually earn passive income as a blockchain developer if you were able to crack this, okay? Now, that being said, uh, as we can clearly see through this thread here, there's a lot more to it than I'm just going to find a simple way to make some yield and cut up a strategy and boom, you know, it's just going to be easy overnight. But like he's saying here, you know, it took him, you know, we do this within about a week where you could come up with a strategy, code it, and then start testing it for two to four days. And now there's no guarantee that you're going to find a winning strategy that actually is accepted and gets in the protocol because clearly there's lots of hoops to jump through when you're talking about you know, getting things audited, getting things peer reviewed, all that type of stuff. But think about this at the end of the day. If your goal is to become a blockchain developer and you're new in your journey here, um, sometimes, you know, doing things, even if it doesn't have the exact desired outcome, is still beneficial to you because you get a, a reward that's, um, you know, maybe not the reward you're seeking, but it's a reward that's still valuable to you in the long run. So if you're new, one of those things could just be experience, okay? So if you if you wrote a yearn finance strategy, all right, and you use that for you know, your resume, if you were going to try to get hired for a job or something like that, that would be absolutely huge, okay? So even if it wasn't accepting the yearn protocol, if you're just if you just demonstrate the fact that you can do it, even if it's not the best strategy possible, that can be a tremendous learning experience that you know limits the downside risk that you would have on your time for going down and pursuing something like this, even if it doesn't get accepted into the protocol. There could be a huge value in this, you know, just in and of itself. At the end of the day, one of the, the craziest things that I love about this is how how 
absolutely nuts it is in blockchain right now that these types of opportunities even exist. It's a huge incentive to attract more people into the space because the brightest minds, you know, are going to look at this and say, I, I want a shot at that. So if that's you, then how can you get your hands dirty and get started today? You never go to my YouTube homepage. You find my free courses there. They like you to courses, but they're totally free. And if you like those videos and you went to the next step or hey, Maybe you don't take a master shortcut entirely. I can show you become a blockchain master step-by-step -step start to finish over at dapuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You have to be an expert to get started today. You can learn the fundamental skills you know, from beginner all the way to real-world blockchain developer to accomplish this goal and a lot more. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real-world blockchain developers in a matter of months, okay? So that's all I got for today. Make sure you smash the like button down below. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.